morning. I'm just about to leave the wine region of Montepulciano for the wine region of Chianti. Because you get to cycle in some of the most famous wine regions of the world. Chianti! Cheeky climbs. <laughs> Chianti's got some tough climbs, short, steep, and sweet. But coming down is like coming down off an alpine coal. Beautiful sweeping descents, ending at the most gorgeous of towns. Greve in Chianti. 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 After Greve in Chianti is Panzano in Chianti. It's about half past five. It's still about 30 degrees. Roasting. I love those little cars. A day off the bike today as I head north through the Chianti region and to the flair and flamboyance of Florence. The rolling landscape of Chianti is vineyards as far as the eye can see, and the route, the SR222, is well known as the Chianti Via. I'm now going to make my way to Castiana de Teme and then on to San Gimiano. Castiano de Terme. In most Tuscan towns you'll find a sleepy piazza somewhere to grab a gelato or a coffee. And that's just exactly what I'm going to do. After arriving in San Gimiano, probably the first thing you want to do is hit one of the piazzas and explore the 14 towers. So, let's go have a look. Check out the cheese. Don't forget the number one rule. When in Italy, always leave room for gelato. And this place here in San Gimiano is the world's best ice cream, according to its signs outside. A little wave, Beppe. Ah, it's a GoPro. Yeah, this is Beppe. Good morning, how are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> we are in the sunny Tuscany. <laughs> One of my favourite things about Tuscany so far is that you can wander around these gorgeous hilltop towns steeped in history and then retreat in the afternoon to a beautifully serene and peaceful agriturismo or country B&B with pool and spectacular views. Behind me are the 14 towers of San Gimiano, which I now say farewell to as I head south and on to Siena. Tonight's accommodation, a typical Sinesi family home. Just dumped my bags at the B&B and now I'm off into, oh wow, look at that. 
just around the corner from the B&B, you can just about catch a glimpse of the first sights of Siena. Let's go and have a look. La Duomo. Or La Duomo. Il Duomo. La Duomo. How about we just say cathedral? Arriving into Siena by bike, I highly recommend leaving the bike at your accommodation and exploring on foot. The streets are pretty steep and they get narrower and it just takes the hassle out. <laughs> Arriving into Siena, I highly recommend your first stop at the amazing Piazza di Campo. Grab yourself a beer, wine, relax, and enjoy the views. And just around the corner, it's a mightily impressive cathedral. Morning. Uh, this morning you'll join me cycling from Siena through the rolling countryside to a small place called Bona Convento. So within a few k of leaving the hustle and bustle and history of Siena. You find yourself out, beautiful rolling Tuscan roads, cypress tree lined, sun's coming up, going for a lovely day's ride. The famous Strada Bianchi.